A moment is a force times a distance. So there's two guys carrying a ladder, a bucket hanging on the end, 50 newton bucket, there's 200 newtons, that's the weight of the ladder acting in the middle of the leg. You can redraw it, the diagram like this, call it RA, RB, the reactions pushing up from the two men. Okay. Now, moment is a force times a distance, so we have in a system like this, the clockwise moments about any point will equal the anti-clockwise moments. If we start off and take moments about RA, clockwise moments about RA equals the anti-clockwise moments. So we've got 200 times 3, that's a clockwise moment. 50 times 2, 3, 6. That will equal the anti-clockwise moments. Now there only is one, and it's RB, and the distance is 4. So that's 900 equals 4 RB. So RB equals 900 over 4. That's 225 newtons. So RB, pushing up there, is 225 newtons. Now, to find what RA, what he's putting into this thing, two ways of doing it. You can take moments about RB, and then you'll have 4 times RA will equal, no. To find RA, what we do is take moments about RB. So clockwise moments about RB equals anti-clockwise moments. So clockwise, you've got RA times 4, and 50 times 2, I take moments about RB, anti-clockwise we have 200 times 1. Okay. Simplifying that, we have RA times 4 equals, that's a, plus 100 equals 200. Now I've got to take that 100 over the other side, so RA times 4 equals 100, so RA equals 25. Okay. So this chap here is having an easy time. Okay. This guy here carrying most of the load. Moments. Just to recap what we've done, we had the system, we didn't know these two at the start. So take one of these, doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick RA. Take moments about that point. So about that point, the clockwise moments all add up to equal what all the anti-clockwise moments add up to. So about this point, that force is causing an anti -clock a clockwise moment, and that one is a clockwise moment. So here, here are the two moments here. There's only one anti-clockwise moment that's caused by RB. Okay. 